Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn chapter 4 PHP. Content of the session is PHP variables and data types of PHP. So, what is PHP variables? PHP has variables like other programming languages such as C, C++ and Python. Variables are the storage location which can store the values for the later manipulation in the program. Variable is a very important concept. The term variable and its meaning will not change for any other language. What is the meaning of variable in C is same for C++, same for in Python or any other language and also in PHP. So mainly all the data, we create a program to handle the data. The data may be a number, may be a name, sometimes it may be an image, anything else. Nowadays we are using all type of data with the applications. So the data which is going to use in a program is stored in a variable. Variable is nothing but it is a place or the name on which the values are stored. Main advantage of the PHP variable when compared with other language is variable declaration does not require to specify the data type keyword separately as int, care, float, double or string. We are going to see this. What are they? What is the keyword in this chapter? So basic rules for variable declaration. Variable is a name. So we are going to create a name. The name must be start with dollar symbol. Never start with the number and it is case sensitive. What is the meaning? I can use dollar A, it's alphabet, dollar B, it's alphabet, dollar A underscore 1, alphabet and number comes in the name, but the first letter is the alphabet, so it is valid. Now, it can be used in an equation and it is printed. We'll see the example. I hope you remember this echo, dollar C, here the value of the C variable is printed. So, The variables in the PHP must start with dollar symbol. 5 is an integer number. 10 is an integer number. Meaning is it is a whole number without decimal points. It is not 5.0. It's simply 5. It is a whole number. The data type. The PHP scripting language supports 13 primitive data types. Data types plays important role in all programming languages to classify the data according to the logic. That is, the data which is which the program is going to handle is very important. Whether it is going to handle only whole numbers or with the decimal numbers or it is going to store a name or address or an image or audio or video, anything. So, the type of the data is very important. It should be handled properly. Here they have given some data types, string, integer, float, boolean, array, object, null, resource. Some explanations also given in your book that is a string. A string is a collection of characters within the double or single quotes. It is character. So if I want to store my name or the address, I can use the data type as string. Integer. Integer is the data type which contains non-decimal numbers, that is whole number, without decimal points. Float with the decimal points. If it is a student report, means the student average will be in point. Boolean. Um, sometimes they may ask whether you are physically challenged, yes or no. Only two type of answer. So it is true or false. So Boolean is a data type which denotes the possible two states, true or false. Array is a data type which has multiple value in a single variable. It's important and it is a separate chapter in your syllabus. PHP object is a data type which contains information about data and functions inside the class. It's a big concept in object-oriented programming. 
it is not given in elaborate manner in your syllabus but it's a very important concept we'll see uh, a little example for this null null is a special data type which contains a single value as null resource is a specific variable it has a reference to external resource these variables hold specific handlers to handle files and database connections in respective php program php with the connection of sql is a separate chapter and you are going to learn this in elaborate very important thing is var dump this function is used to give the information about a variable this function displays structured information such as type and value of the given variable arrays and objects are explored rec recursively with values intended to show structure i'll show the example where this function is used and how it is used yeah to start the exam server check the notepad type the php program starts with question mark php ends with question mark raise my symbol you can take a variable x always the variable should start with dollar symbol welcome and this is within double quotes end with semicolon this is important each line must be end with semicolon then echo this is a function used to print the value so dollar x it will show the value save the file location is important c drive search for the exam folder in the exam folder hd docs folder here you give the file name after giving the file name you take the browse in the browser you give http local host and the function file name here we have used is php variable php var dot php the word welcome is displayed now we can see another example this is the example of a string because it is holding the set of characters but here we are not using the keyword as string in other languages we have to mention but in c++ in php it is not required here we are using the var dump this function will show you what is in the variable x actually this variable is x is having the word welcome it is a string okay so we'll see can you see this welcome string of 7 that means it is having seven characters that is displayed by this function this echo br is for next line formation when first line is printed the next line should come in the next line means i should have a break line so break the line and print in the next line that is the meaning for br actually string is allowed with the double quotes and single quotes so welcome is within double quotes we'll have another variable with single quotes this is also printed so welcome to php programming so echo dollar x near itself we can type or below also we can type but as there is no br tag it will type continuously welcome to php program will come in single line so here it is i am asking to show only variable y so 
Welcome to PHP programming and the variable y is having the string of length 15 the content is ph program that is printed by that function this function we'll see another example we have seen the string data type now we are going to see another data type. We will type a whole number without decimal points and asking the uh, random function to print the data type. See the change in the output. So it is int and the value is 789. So when the value change value in the variable is changed, the data type also changed implicitly. We didn't mention anything explicitly. The compiler itself for changing the data type of the variable based on the data what we are giving here. Here I am giving as true. So it will say it as Boolean because Boolean data type is able to have true or false state. Then we'll see in next example, null value it is useful. So it will say it is data type of null. Null means empty and sometimes we need a null variable or null value in our program. We will see another example. Array. It is very important. Array is collection of data in single name that is said to be array. It is a separate chapter in your syllabus. Here we will see a uh, variable name followed by array keyword hi by good three words are here so we are asking to print var dump so it is saying it is array of three and it is saying the three values actually to print the array we need separate process we see in that syllabus simply array is a collection of values in a single name of x as it is changed the data type also changed in the output this is an example for uh, class 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 name and it is having function class means it is a collection of functions and data types it is not elaborated in your syllabus simply you can know class class name and it will have functions here there is only one function mark here the content or the concept what you are going to learn is here there is a object creation it is a procedure dollar school object school one that means it is having no value it is a data type of object the object is school it is the object of the class school it is given here So here object sorry dollar school underscore obg this is the object name equal to new school this class school is going to have a variable as object here we are asking to print the type of the variable school object so it is clearly saying it as it is the object of the class school you learn only up to this because it is not elaborated it's a big concept and it is very useful if if i get a time i will explain in another video with another example now first of all we'll finish our syllabus what is in your book Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.